So hello everyone, Durgesh this side. So today I am going to tell you about order of execution of SQL query. So now when we are talking about order of execution, so I want to tell you all that many people nowadays like are okay to write a SQL query. They know how to write a SQL query and uh, they can also write some complex queries as well. But when the time comes and when we are asking them on or when somebody is asking them to just tell me the order of execution of this query at that point of time they don't know they really don't know the order of execution like i have also faced this problem when i was like initially starting with sql but right now like uh, after getting a lot of knowledge in sql i know that order of execution is very important thing and if you are a good coder in SQL, then you must have knowledge about order of execution because when you are writing a SQL query at the point of time when the SQL is actually accepting your query and running on his compiler at that point of time, that query will run only with order of execution. So now when we are talking about order of execution, then we must have knowledge of seven clauses. So first will be our from, second will be where, third will be our group by, fourth will be our having clause, fifth will be our select clause, sixth will be our order by clause. So now what from do when you are like taking any record from a table at that point of time. So you must have to specify something in the from clause that from where you are taking that record. After that, when you are taking that record from that table at that point of time, you are dropping some conditions on that table with the help of where clause. After that, if you are using some aggregation or some different type of aggregate things like some count and maximum average at that point of time you use group by to group the things into single bucket so that you can do the aggregation based on that single value or that single bucket after that the thing on which you have applied the aggregation or the aggregated thing or aggregated column that you get from that value by using group by you have to take that in account of having for example if somebody asks you that i want some of people from hr department so what you will do you will write count star and you can group by it with department where department is equal to HR. So at that point of time, all the people who are in HR department, you will get a count of them. So for example, if you have to find out that I want the HR department people only when their count is greater than 10. So now the aggregate condition of count that you have applied with the group by clause you have to give a condition on that so do giving condition on an aggregated column because of which we have used group by clause so we can do that thing with the help of having clause so having clause is used to give condition to a aggregated function or aggregated value after that doing all this above four thing now you are selecting some records so select come into the picture at the fifth place and after that selecting all the records now you are going to order them so for example if you want to order a row of five students so firstly you need five students after that you can order them on their age on their role number so that is the thing so that is the order of execution like that is not an order of execution i have just explained you that what are the six things that are required in the order of execution now i will tell you these things with the help of example so for example right now i am going to use my practice database so i will write use sql practice now I'm going to use my practice database. So I command completed successfully. After that, I am going to select some records from my practice database. So what I will write, I will write select 
star from and there is a table called pets and I am going to take out some pets records. Now after this you are able to see the table in which the records of pets are there. So pet ID, name of the pet, kind of the pet, gender, age and owner ID. Now I will write a query with that. So I only want the kind where the maximum age is greater than 8 and order them by kind ascending. So now I will write a query for that. So I will write select kind comma max of age from my table pets group by my kind having max age greater than 8 order by kind sending. So now if I will run this query I will get a result. So firstly I will give it a alias as max age. Now when we are going to run this query it will get a something like this. So there is cat, dog and parrot. And all of them have a maximum age greater than 8. So why, how this query is ex exactly executing? So firstly, we will not care about select thing. Firstly, we will come on from. Because on the order of execution, first thing that we will focus is from. So it starts from from. So from pets, we are taking something. Now there is no where condition. So you are not dropped any wear condition, but for, for example, if there was a wear condition, you have to drop that wear condition before group by. So after this, I am taking an aggregate function and I am using a column also. So I must have to group by that thing with the help of that column that I have mentioned with the aggregate function. So I have used group by. So after from, there is no where. So after where the control will jump on, group by. Now, after group by, the control will jump on having clause. But for example, I have given max age column as max age. Like I have given the function a name as max age. So I am not able to use this max age here. I have to use this max age. Like I have to give the aggregate function with the column name to use the used to use that in the having clause because for example if I will use max age here so like I can use max age to show you people so max age I will try to run it so it is not running why it's not running because the execution has started from the from clause and you have given the alias in the select clause. So select clause has still not executed. So it will not work. So you have to give the max age here. After this having the select condition will run. So now you will get kind and maximum age of the select condition. Now you have got all the records. So after this your order by condition will work. So that is the complete order of execution. So when we are writing a SQL query, at that point of time, we must have to know that what is order of execution. For example, if there is a condition, for example, if there is a condition, like uh, all the kind must start from D. So I have to write where substring kind comma one comma one in and I can pass D here. So which means that all the kinds 
whom we are taking must start with D. So only dog will be here. So when I will run this, you can see only dog is there. So how the order of execution working? Firstly, from pets we are taking, then our where clause, after that our group by clause, after that our having clause, and after that again select clause. Now we have got all the records. Now we can order them on the basis of anything that we want to order. So yeah, that is the complete order of execution. Hope you liked it. If you liked it, you can subscribe my YouTube channel and you can also share this video. Thanks to all of you for watching. Bye-bye.